Hello and welcome to another edition of Fix 64. I'm Darren Hadley. And today I have the ultimate in direct attached storage solutions. The Orica Mixed Data Vault 4 Big. And the model number is 8848U4. I'd like to thank Orico for sending this to me to test out. This is the ultimate solution for creators because of its USB 4 40 gigabit per second transfer speed. Each disk can achieve transfer speeds of up to 10 gigabits per second. And each bay can hold one NVMe SSD and they can be in sizes 2230, 2242, 2260, and 2280. And they can be up to 8 terabytes each. So that's a total of 32 terabytes, which is very impressive. So, yes, this thing is a content creator's best friend. So, yeah, I've got four Oracle IG740 Pros that I'm going to, and they're each 2 terabyte. And I'm going to put each of them in a bay. So, uh, let's unbox it and install the SSDs and go over the features more in depth. There we go. All right, wow. It's a lot smaller than I was thinking it was. That is cool. That'll fit right on the desk with a Mac Mini or something very well. In fact, that's what we're going to hook it to for testing. And there it is. Even matches the M4 Mac Mini look. Okay, let's see what other goodies we have in here. Put that to the side. Okay, have a power adapter. And it looks like it has an option to use different power adapters from different countries. Luckily this one came with a, I don't know what it's called, but a US one. Comes with a screwdriver. All of the hardware for mounting the SSD drives. Comes with a 40 gigabit per second USB C cable. And documentation. Yeah, this is a very nice braided cable, too. Okay, I will. power adapter out, and of course the sc screws, and I need to look at this too, but let's, uh, 
Let's look this over. Okay, I opened all the drives, so we're ready. And I'm gonna go over this back. Here is the DC in, here's the PC in, and there's the power button, and there's the cooling system. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, and as you can see, I mean, this thing's not big at all compared to conventional three and a half inch mechanical hard drive cabinets. This thing's really small, and uh, by using the M.2 design, they were able to reduce the overall volume by like 50%. In fact, there's an image somewhere that shows the three and a half inch cabinet versus this, and it's crazy. With no moving parts, this can be transported and stored in backpacks or camera bags, making it ideal for DIT professionals. Uh, masters of film and video production. Um, it's 55% smaller than a traditional enclosure, so that's really cool. It also is very quiet. The fan noise is maintained below 30 decibels. It also has great shock resistance. Um, with its all aluminum alloy construction, it also dissipates heat very well, making it stable to maintain its high performance operation. So yeah, you can edit videos right from this thing. Okay, let's install the SSDs. To get these off, you just click this back. This pops out. Simply slide the tray out. And then put the thingy that I don't know the name of. in there, hold it down, turn it around, put the screw in the bottom, uh, and don't be shaky, and simply screw that in, it's mounted Everything's cool. Okay. And also, there's enough room to put the copper vest on. If I can do it. Yep. Very good. Simply put that over it. And then slide it back into place. We're good to go. Take the next one out. And the last but not least, very good. And and see how it has like an adapter that just slides into to the system. 
If you want one, click the link below and make sure you do the discount code. Orico provided us with one of those. Yeah. We are there. Okay, now that we have everything installed, let's get over to the Mac Mini and try it out. All right, look how cool that looks. It's like they're made for each other. Let me turn them on. Ooh. As you can see, it's lighting up. Now they're solid. And we'll get into OS, or it's not OS 10 anymore. I will get into Mac OS Tahoe 26, and we can speed test. Okay. As you can see, we have four disk initializations. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'll do each as XFAT, then I can use it on a PC and a Linux system. What am I gonna call them? Uh, Orica Data 1 and Orica Data 2 and so forth. There we go. It has been found over there. All right, I'll just go through these and do that and be right back. Okay, as you can see, Oracle Data 1, 2, and 3 are all there. That means I installed it right. So, pat on the back. Okay, let's get into some testing now. All right, I'm going to select the first target disk, Orico Data 1, and start test. Oops, I pressed up. Okay, I am now on Orico Data 2. It actually blinks the one it's using. The link speed is 40 gigabits per second. And remember, each bay can operate it up to 10 gigabits per second. So the right is about A little over a thousand and the read is around 800 or so. Let's try the next one. Three. Now yeah, should be similar. Yep. Very good. Awesome. And let's try the last one. operating around the same and let's choose the original Orico this is the one that's built into the uh, mini pro dock and 
And yes, as you can see, it's around the same too. Anyway, this has like 10 terabytes of storage extra on top of the 2 terabytes that it already has, so very good. I can use all that space. It'll be very nice. And I like how this is directly attached to the computer. It makes it way quicker to transfer stuff. Heck, I was transferring stuff on an old USB 3.0 uh, Western Digital uh, three and a half inch hard drive and boy it, it moves slow but I can tell this will go fast okay let's try out that other amorphous disk mark let's do Orco data one 64 gig file, I don't know, let's just do a one. Yep, same read speeds. And the right should be over a thousand, I think. Yeah. Maybe not. Very good though. Now I probably could have gotten away with, um, and I don't know, uh, 3x4 uh, SSDs, but I got these IG740 Pros for such a good price. They were on sale right now with a coupon then it didn't make a difference so why not have industrial strength in here I mean makes me feel better anyway I'd like to thank Orico for sending this over to me it pairs nicely with my Mac mini editing setup I mean look at that two little objects on my desk and it's a powerful, powerful system for editing video and daily tasks, everything. It's great and it's nice having that much more storage. And I'd like to thank my viewers and my subscribers. And if you like what you see and you want to be notified of my next video, uh, please click the bell button. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.